Many folks tell us that they have a real hard time deciding which one of our beautiful kayaks to get. We're going to take you through some comparisons to help make your choice easier. Let's have a quick comparison of several different kayaks. Take a look at all these beauties here. Many folks tell us they have a hard time deciding which model to get, and what we'd like to do is show you a little bit of the, the fit of some of them. So Adrian's going to get in the Adirondack 12 LT first. Look how easy it is for her to get in. Very easy just to swing her legs in. She'll get comfortable in the boat. All of these boats have beautiful shapes to them. When you take a stroke with these boats, they really move nicely for you. David Yost has been a genius with this. So Adrian, that's got a nice fit. Let's try the Kawasa 12.6 now, which is what we call a sport touring boat, a boat that has the features with the hatches and bulkheads that you can take it on overnight camping trips if you want to but it has a tighter cockpit. Now with this one, Adrian can either paddle with her knees on the side of the cockpit, or she can put them underneath it for more hip and leg control. This is a skinnier kayak. It's four inches narrower than the Adirondack 12 LT, so it's got more design performance. That if you really wanna keep up with a group with group paddling, the Kawasa 12.6 is a great boat to do that in. And Adrian, let's show them now the Saranac 14. Now, this boat's a foot and a half longer than the Kawasa 12.6. It's an inch narrower. It has just as much stability because it's got the same amount of wetted surface area on the bottom. And look at how comfortable Adrian can get pretty quickly. She's the right size for this boat. So, the 14 Saranac, if you want to do some more tripping or if you want an exercise boat, this is Adrian's favorite kayak, she's told me. The color, everything. But this is an absolutely beautiful performing boat in the water. You always have to remember, folks, that the longer you're getting the kayak, the more weight it's going to be. So our price list, our website shows that real nicely. But... If you can't decide on which one to get, the easiest answer is get all three of them. So Adrienne, five, seven, 120 pounds, those were three neat kayaks for her to look at. Me being 6'4", 240, here are three boats that I really like to paddle. Here is the Adirondack 13.6, which really paddles nicely. I had a dog, Gareth, that weighed about 90 pounds, and uh, I really trained him well to sit right in front of me where he'd be looking forward. I did have to modify my stroke, and you quite often do if you've got a big dog, but he really liked always being able to look forward. Someone that likes to travel my size with a fish tackle box. This boat has so much comfort. It's just so easy to get in and out of photography equipment. We're always going to see those nice loons, a moose or two, the beaver crossing the lake. We want to be able to get our camera quickly. This is a great boat for that. So again, very easy to get in and out of. So next boat I'm going to get into is the Kawasa 13-2, which is another nice boat for someone my size with my size 12 and a half feet. I can fit them in here nicely. I really like this model. If I'm going out for the day, this has the Kawasas a little bit more curve on the bottom, a little bit more rocker than the Adirondacks or the Saranacs. We did that for a lot of people take lesson programs and they really teach you to do turns when you lean the boat. And this particular model, when you lean it to the side, you can really snap quick turns, but when you pedal it flat like this, it just paddles beautifully. So this is a really good type of kayak, the Kawasas, that if you don't think you're gonna get into camping where you wanna load a lot of gear in a boat, but you want a boat that performs well, has good stability right from the beginning, the Kawasas are great for that. 
For my size and stature, the Kawasa 13.2 fits me perfectly. Okay, folks, let me show you now the touring kayak for someone my size. Here is the Saranac 15. So it is almost two feet longer than the Kawasa 13.2. The cockpit's actually the same size, but it's got a little bit more depth. I've got a little bit more room in here. We wanted to make it a little more comfortable for people going on long trips, spending a lot of time in the kayak. This baby is so comfortable. And the Saranac shapes are so sleek. And I'm not a racer. I don't want to go real fast. But when I paddle, it's more efficient. It accelerates nicer. It glides further into each stroke. When Adrian and I go out kayak touring or kayak camping, when you have a boat that's more efficient, you can cover more ground with the same amount of effort. It gives you a chance to see more wildlife, more birds. We want to see the moose. We want to see the beautiful beaver dams and the beautiful scenery. When you have boats that travel more efficiently, that are lighter if you need to do any carries, these are definitely the way to go. So we love all these boats. This is the particular one that fits me the best. A big two thumbs up. Here are three boats that a lot of people often compare together also. Let's start with the Adirondack 13.6. This boat, versatility is what I think about this guy. So much room in it. If I want to take a dog, fish tackle equipment, it is a little bit easier. A little bit wider and shorter. If I just, if I want to paddle out, go to my favorite fishing hole, this is a great spot. It does have a lot of room in the hatches. You, you can put two weeks worth of gear in this boat. There's so much volume to it. Then David Yost a few years ago, we've had this baby out for a number of years. He designed the Kawasa 14, which he calls a hot Adirondack 13.6. It's a boat that has a bigger cockpit, but not quite as wide. It's a little bit skinnier boat. So what's neat about this one is it's a little bit more performance. So when you paddle, this one has a little bit more speed potential, but I don't have quite as much room in the cockpit right here. You can see there's much more in the 13.6, but very comfortable. If you want the boat that's easy to get in and out of, but you really want some good performance to it, the Kawasa 14 is a great boat to get. And then let's talk about our new boat for this year, the Saranac 15 LC for large cockpit. What people are really liking about this boat, and I should say, this boat has been built because consumers asked us for it. They love the larger cockpit on our smaller boats, but they wanted a longer boat that had more performance, that they were able to get the big cockpit. So I could take a dog here. I could have a small child. I could have a fish tackle box, camera equipment, just so accessible to me right here. But what I'm gonna get with this boat is more speed. With each stroke I take, I'm gonna be able to cruise a little bit further. And that's wonderful. I like speed and efficiency. To counter it though, the boat's gonna be heavier. It's gonna weigh more. So always keep that in mind. Many people choose our kayaks because they want something really light and easy to pick up. So then they may get one of the shorter models. So let me show you something else. We haven't talked about this a lot. Here's my favorite kayak paddle right now. What I like about it is that you can adjust the length of it and the angle of it, the pitch, just with one lever here. It's called the lever lock. I like to paddle when I'm really cranking. I can keep the drip rings kind of the water not coming into the cockpit. So I find sometimes I just want to make the paddle a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. And it's really easy for me to do so. So we've got a lot of kayaks, beautiful choices. 
I don't think you can go wrong with whichever one that you get. Some people quite often will get pairs of them. And when they do that, we'll quite often see a couple, they may get two Kawasas or two Saranax. But don't feel awkward if one of you wants to get a Kawasa, one wants to get a Saranac or something like that. Any combination of these boats you're absolutely gonna love. If you need any more help, check our website out more or call us at our 1-800 number. We'd be happy to help you with the process. All Swift kayaks are beautiful and you're gonna love whichever one you got.